my machine has been doing some funky things so I decided to do a memory test and this is what I found we'll be back Okay, today we're going to figure out how to test for bad memory in a computer. Um, my machine actually had bad memory. <laughs> um, so I want to show you how to do that. Uh, we're going to be using a program called MemTest86. I use an older program because that's what I found floating around. It's the same thing, except it's just um, uh, an older program of it. It does the same thing. Anyway, so we're going to get right to it because... This video is not that long, so I want to make sure that I get the, the information to you right away. Let's go to it. So, what I did was I removed all the memory modules except one. And uh, I'm testing each one. It failed pretty much right in the beginning, within the first 7%. So, I'm going to do this test rather quickly. So, once the first 7% is done, I'm going to go to the next memory module and test it from there as well. We have to test each one independently to verify that we're all good. So I'm using test mem 4 memory utility the test memory and let's see if this one's good. Ah, ah, son of a gun this is uh, Corsair uh, vengeance memory module. Well, I would say that's bad. I don't need to go any further. Oh, God. No wonder why my machine was having so much difficulty. This is the problem. I have bad memory. Uh, let's go to the next one. Shall we? And so we can boot off a, a CD-ROM. And we'll see if this memory memory module is okay. Obviously, to do a full, full, full test, we need to make sure this the pass goes 100%. But since the errors were right in the beginning, Corsair memory, and uh, it's a 16 gig kit, and there's two 8 gig modules, and they run at 1600 megahertz. The timings were 99924, and that was the memory module. I got four of those babies inside, so we're going to shut down and test the last one. Once this hits uh, 7%. Alright, so far so good. Usually the errors come right away. I haven't seen them ever in the middle of anything. I mean, in terms of testing this memory module. Alright, looks like I don't have... Looks like I'll have to settle for 16 gig for right now. Alright, we're done 7%. So we have one bad memory module. Okay, we're back to normal again. Everything is rocking and rolling. Well, that was really funky. Well, now you know how to do a test on your own machine. If you have bad memory, if actually, if that's the problem. I had random reboots and funky Firefox issues. It would just out of nowhere just crash. I thought it was a Firefox issue. But I said, you know what, let me just give it a shot and test memory. And sure enough, I had a bad module. Okay, so now you know how to do this. Very interesting uh, process. It's time consuming a little bit, especially if you want to do 100% of testing, but you clearly saw how easy it was. It's just simply taking the, all the modules out and putting one at a time in slot number one. Boot off your CD-ROM drive with MemTest86 and the latest version. I will have the link in the description so it's easier for you to find. It's an ISO and you burn the ISO with your burning software that you use, either Windows, the, built, the one that's built into Windows 7 will work perfectly fine. Or if you have Nero or anything else that you like to use, that'll work as well. So anyway, if you guys, if you like this video, please thumbs up. If you don't like this video, which I hope you don't, you hit thumbs down. And if you want more, please comment below. I love comments, so please comment. I like that. Take care, guys.